Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? I am The Framed, and welcome back to the next episode of my Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls Let's Play. Alright, so in the last episode, we were able to acquire the crown, uh, which allowed us to go fight Astos, the evil Dark Elf King guy, and from him we got this uh, eye thing, and then we were able to go take that eye thing and bring it to a lady who had lost her eye, and uh, got a potion, a jolt tonic, to revive the prince, the elfin prince, here in Elfheim. But uh, yeah, now that we saved him, he gave us this mystic key thing that we can go around and pick up some loot with. And that's what we're going to do here today in this episode. We're going to uh, basically go around and find all the loot that we can, or that we missed, basically, um, <coughs> previously. And the first thing we got to do is, right here in the elven castle, uh, what you got to do is go... Oops. See, I just did that all kinds of wrong. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta head this way, and you got oops, you gotta head right along the edge of the castle. You can't go any further because, as you noticed, I like went out of the place. And you gotta go in here now, and you go click Mithril hammer, hammer, some money, a bronze gloves, and more money. All right, so that's the only stuff in here. Uh, I really hope I can get through all this stuff in this episode. Uh, but we gotta head this way. I did I? Yeah, I didn't really. I was kind of hoping I had healed up before I started this episode, but I did not. But that's okay. But I'm gonna speed through a lot of this because I got a lot of stuff that I get through. Gotta get through in this episode. Um, so yeah, we're gonna speed through this stuff a little bit. Um, so basically, what we gotta do now is head to both the uh, castle up north as well as back into Marsh Cave because there's items. I got poison. Uh, and those areas that we need to uh, get. So I gotta go to my items here really quick. Use an antidote on my thief. Before I go any further, we're gonna head up this way first, just because that's the way I felt like going. Um, but yeah. Head up this way. And uh, the other two places that we need to go are back in Castle Cornelia. And um, where am I going? And, nope. Nope. Back in Castle Cornelia and also the uh, Chaos Shrine that we first fought Garland in. Are there no random encounters in here? That's awesome. I love it when that happens. Uh, but we gotta head into this room. And there's um, monsters that you have to fight every time that you go in front of this chest. So make sure you only do that once if you don't want hard fights. I got a Flanchion, Power Staff, and some Steel Gloves. Awesome. I think that's the only stuff in here. Let's head up here really quick just to make a sure. That is not a room, and that is the room that was before. So that's all we gotta find here. Gonna head out of here, and I guess I could actually equip some of that uh, stuff that I've gotten so far. Maybe I'll do that here right after this battle. Go to equipment, optimize, got some steel gloves on you, optimize, got a planche on you, optimize, got nothing on you, and optimize, and got a mithril hammer. Awesome. Alright, so let's keep going. Alright, so now we're going to head down back into Marsh Cave because uh, that's the next place we got to go, you know? You know? Get rid of these goblin guards and head down into Marsh Cave. Let me in. Awesome. Alright, so what we got to do is head down here. Uh, basically, we head to the bottom floor uh, where, we, where we were uh, when we fought... Uh, the Pisido men or whatever the Pisido demons, or whatever those things are called, uh, to get the crown out of that chest, we gotta head back to that area, and there are a few locked rooms and chests, um, in that area below below that area I guess. So we gotta head down here. We're gonna head this way. Ah, I got paralyzed. Ouch! Gosh dang it die all right so I need to heal up here really quick use my mage mage <laughs> use a cure like 70 times uh, you don't need anything I'll give you one cuz I'm a nice guy all right so actually we're gonna use that we're gonna use that we're gonna use some magicka on you guys and use that there we go and uh, kill these guys 
And we want to head in here. And this is going to be a pretty tough battle, I think, com coming up here. Uh, there will be a a monster. Oh, we got some more Poseidon demons. That's fun. Took them down pretty easily, though. We got some uh, anacondas, looks like. Hopefully they don't poison us. That would be unfortunate. And we need to get a level up there. Uh, I got the silver armlet. I believe we will give that to our... Uh, one of our, or to our uh, white mage, if I can figure out how to talk. Alright, so we're going to head in here and go and fight uh, more Pisido demons. Pisco, I don't, see, I don't know how to say this. Pisco demons, Pisso demons. I will always want to call them Pisido demons, like they're Poseidon demons. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We're going to use some magic here really quick. Heal up our guys. Because uh, he got really low, and you got really low, and you didn't get really low, you got kind of low. Alright, what we got? We got an antidote. All that for an antidote. Hot diggity dog. Rolling in it. Awesome. Alright, let's see. I don't think this room has anything, and it doesn't, so don't go in there. It's a trap! Um, no. But uh, we went ahead in here, because I believe there is an item in here. And uh, most likely a battle as well, so be ready for that. I'm actually going to save here really quick, just in case. Uh, it's always smart to use that save uh, file thing, just in case. You never know what's going to happen along the way. And I am moving kind of fast here, and when I move kind of fast, I kind of don't do as well. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. But uh, we got uh, 1020 gil, which is kind of nice, I guess. But we're going to head out of here now, make our way back to the surface, and head to Castle Cornelia, I believe, is our next stop. And then the Chaos Shrine, soon after that. And if this bat would get out of my way, good gravy. Let's see. Grey Ooze! Ooze on out of here, would you? I'm going to heal up here. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, on my thief, because he's getting kind of... Oh, you're getting really low, too. I'm going to use it on you as well. All right, so let's let's try and get out of here. I got paralyzed. Annoying. But uh, let's, let's hurry and get out of here. I hate this place. This is one of my least favorite uh, dungeon places. Uh, just because you're kind of low level when you get here, and the monsters are somewhat difficult, and they do this paralysis crap, which is super annoying, which just makes everything so much harder. But yeah, whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's make it to the place without getting into random encounter, please! Awesome. Alright, so now we're going to head back to Castle Cornelia, and uh, get pick up some items there. If I can make my way there without too much trouble. I could be running away from this kind of stuff because I do have a thief on my team. And thieves have really good speed. And you can pretty much run away from just about anything if you have a thief on your team, which is kind of nice. If uh, you get in a sticky situation and you can't, don't think you can win a fight or whatever, you can just run away. And they usually go first as well because of their high speed, so do remember that. And we're going to make our way up this way and go back to Castle Cornelia. If we can get past this ogre. This ogre. Alright, so let us head north. Hey look, Castle Cornelia. Alright, so in Castle Cornelia, I kind of forget what path we have to go by, but we're just going to head this way. Yeah, this is right. Alright, so you got to head down in here, head to the left, or to the right, I mean, uh, into this door, or these couple of doors. You got a Mithril Knife, a uh, Cottage, a Sabre, Sabre, a <laughs> uh, Tent, and the Nitro Powder! Alright, so the Nitro Powder is super important. We need that to continue on with our adventure. And I'm actually going to go to my equipment because we did get some pretty wicked stuff here. 
And I've already got that all optimized. I got you optimized, getting you optimized, and you optimized. Okay, so only only one guy really got optimized there, but that's that's okay. So now that we have got everything in here, I believe that is everything in here. I'm gonna head on out. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, we're gonna head up to the Chaos Sanctuary. Uh, where we started out the game, kind of, uh, fighting Garland. And we're going to acquire a few items over there. And then we're going to head uh, to the next... Uh, or head, uh, Continue on with the adventure, I guess, is the best way to put it. Uh, this is all the stuff that we need, or that we can get with the uh, Mystic Key. The Master Key. Head over here. Uh, basically, it's the two doors to the right, and I believe they may both be guarded. We got a room blade by. Uh, they may be guarded by uh, monsters, so you want to be ready for that. And room blade will be really nice. Give that to somebody. I don't know who. And last room, and we'll have to fight this twice. Unfortunately, it's kind of annoying, but whatever. And a wear buster and a gold needle. And my game just kind of glitched there. Interesting. Alright, so let's fight these guys. Head out of here. And we're going to go to my equipment and optimize everything. And you're optimized because you have a long sword. But uh, now you are optimized and you are optimized. Uh, did you get anything? Nope. So I gave my thief the rune blade and my red mage the uh, wear buster. Both pretty cool items. Um, can we can we look at them? Sword effective against wear beasts and uh, blah, blah. a sword effective against spellcasters. So um, if we come up against any spellcasters, I don't know if we will, uh, but it'll be super effective then because it said so. Well, let's try and make our way out of here and go to the mountain. I forget what the name of the place is at the moment, but I know where to go, so that's good. At least I got one out of the two. And get rid of these goblins. And uh, once we get back to our ship, I think I will take a look at our map. If I can figure out the combination again. Weird button combination. I don't know what it is. I just kind of tried different combinations. Okay, so let's see if I can... Oh, I figured out the first try. I'm awesome. Alright, so we're going to enlarge the map here really quick and basically what we are looking for, I believe, is this um, port right here because we're going to be walking this way, this way, this way, down, 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 over, over, over to this place. Uh, this is where we're going. This place right here. But yeah, that's just kind of a heading, and let's see if we can find our way there. Head over this way, head up this way, kind of speed things up a little bit because watching watching a sail is kind of kind of boring. And uh, in this place, we'll be able to continue on the, with the adventure as well as pick up a few more items, which will be really nice. But basically, what we gotta do is head a little bit that way, and then go south a little ways, and we'll find a cave entrance, I believe. Alright, so now that we're in Mount Dragor, whatever, we got some chests that we can go uh, open up. And let's head over this way. And uh, this guy is super important. He will be forging a blade for us later on in the game. Uh, so we want to remember that. Remember, he's there. Let's just talk to him really quick. Smith, if you only uh, could have. Some of the le legendary metal adamite. Uh, I'd be have able. <laughs> I'd be able to make ye uh, such as magical sword. Uh, that was fun. Get my dwarf voice out. Anyways, we're gonna head down this way first because there's another place we want to go into here with nothing. You got anything to say, Leo? Leo, ho ho! I am a happy little dwarf. Um, anyways, we're gonna head this way. <laughs> and head around the horn this direction. We will be wanting to talk to this guy in just a second, but first we're gonna pick up all the items that are in here. Tent, Great Helm, give that to our warrior. 
Worm Killer, give that to somebody maybe. And Ether and something else, I remember what it was. Mithril Mail. Uh, some more gold and a cottage. So we're going to go back to our equipment and optimize. What do we got? We got a Great Helm on you, we got the Worm Killer on you, and the Rune Blade on you. And I don't think you really get anything. Yeah, you don't get anything. We don't care about you. Alright, so we're going to head over here to this dwarf and we got to talk to him. And he's going to do stuff with our Nitro Powder. Nitro Powder, the explosive force uh, in this powder will uh, make a canal open no time flat. Uh, hoi ye kids! <laughs> and he jumps around, that's kind of silly. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a cutscene here. Pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, he's going to set down the Nitro Powder. Here we go! Um, you know, Blaroctus Mitheries. Wow, my beam just glitched out again. That's weird. Uh, what are you standing around for? That powder is set to blow. Unless you plan on going with it, you'd better get ye out whist you can. <laughs> uh, that's a fun voice. I, I like that one. That's some fun dialogue. Anyways, uh, we're getting out of the way here so the explosion will not kill us. Uh, because that would be unfortunate. A little bit of cutscene here of the uh, land falling away, I guess, making a pass so that we can get to the next town and uh, continue on with the adventure. Whoa, this is so cool! Oh my gosh, look at that! It's, it's falling away! Awesome! Alright, so kind of cool? I don't know. Wow, that's, that's pretty neat. So we got a way into or across that channel or whatever. But yeah. See, do you got anything to say? Do 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 do. Ah. Uh, I love that. All right, so uh, I cannot wait till you see what lies out there. I uh, something that can help. Oh man. Anyways, all right, so we're done here. We uh, finished up this little part of the quest, so we're gonna head on out and uh, go back to our ship. And then head across the canal that we just uh, blew up. <laughs> ah! Alright, so let's head this way. Get rid of these cobras. And head back to our ship. Let me get back to my ship, please. Alright, oh my gosh. Alright, so now we gotta head... Ooh, a shark. Um, this way. Ah! More sharks. Alright, so this whirlpool will take us to uh, another one of those dungeons that we will be doing after the game is over with. It's the expansion kind of stuff um, that this installment uh, created uh, from the first games on the NES or whatever. But anyways, we're going to head this way, got to head this way, because uh, the next town is right here. Uh, Melmond. Melmond. Sounds like a Digimon. Anyways. Melmond. Anyways. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but we're actually going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will take a look at what is going on around here. I'll pick up some items and see what our next quest is. But until then, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have comments, questions, advice, whatever, leave that in the comments section. And if you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing here with my Final Fantasy 1 Donna Souls Let's Play, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But until next time, hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all next time.